So there's one more situation where we have to modify our approach to solving differential equations using our linear differential operator. So remember, if we could write a linear differential equation in the form L applied to Y equals zero, where L is a linear differential operator, then the solutions will be linear combinations of C e to the power Rx and e to the power Ax, C1 cosine Bx plus C2 sine Bx, where R and a plus or minus bi are roots of the characteristic polynomial. And again, the assumption is that we can somehow find these roots algebraically, numerically, or through wild and wishful thinking. But sometimes that isn't enough. What about an equation like d2y plus 6dy plus 9y equals 0? So let's rewrite this in operator form. Our characteristic polynomial is going to be d2 plus 6d plus 9. We'll find the roots by setting the characteristic polynomial equal to 0 and solving. And so we get roots d equals minus 3 and d equals minus 3. And so this gives us a general solution, y equals c1, e to the power of minus 3x. And while this is a general solution, this doesn't actually include all of the solutions. Remember that since this is a second order differential equation, we're supposed to have two unknown constants, and we only have one. We must be missing a whole set of solutions. So where are they? Since y equals c1 e to the power minus 3x is one solution, we'll suppose that there is another solution. But what? A common approach is to assume that our constant c1 is actually a function c1 of x. This is known as variation of parameters, and we'll have a lot more to say about it later. But the first question that comes to mind is, why do we get to make this assumption? And the answer is, eh, let's see what happens. This goes back to an important idea in mathematics and in life. It's easier to obtain forgiveness than permission. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, well, then you'll have some explaining to do. So we'll have a lot more to say about variation of parameters later. But in this particular case, if the differential operator has r as a root of multiplicity k, the corresponding solutions will be our first solution, some constant times e to the power rx. To get the other solutions, we'll multiply by powers of x. So a second solution, c2x e to the power rx. A third solution, c3x squared e to the power rx, and so on, until we get enough solutions to account for the multiplicity of the root. So back to our original problem, rewriting our differential equation using the differential operator. And so our characteristic polynomial is d squared plus 6d plus 9, which is the same as d plus 3 squared. This has root minus 3 with multiplicity 2. And so the general solution well, is going to be c1 e to the power minus 3x, which we get for the root of minus 3. Since our roots have multiplicity 2, we get a second solution, x e to the power minus 3x. And so our solutions are going to be linear combinations of these two, and as required, a second order linear differential equation has solution with two unknown constants.